Hey, how can I help you? I have the most important piece of jewelry by a Las Vegas icon, Liberace. That's really, really cool. Bling, bling? What? <laughs> you got some Liberace bling? Yeah. I mean, the guy was pretty amazing. My grandma loved Liberace. And I'm not going to lie, I got some respect for the guy. I bought this medallion because it was uh, probably the premier piece in the auction. You know, he's an iconic figure. He was uh, the ultimate showman. I'm hoping to get 25000 If I sell this item today, I'll probably use the money to buy more things at auction. So where did you get this? I got it at an auction. Um, pretty damn cool. I know that he was the highest paid live performer in the world for a good 15 years. Even more than Elvis? More than Elvis. Supposedly the fastest piano player in the world. Uh, he's well remembered in this town. Sort of Mr. Las Vegas. I mean, he, they had the Liberace Museum here in town that was around forever. What really brought him over the top was just the crazy outfits, the giant pianos. Yeah. He had gigantic uh, candelabra sitting on top of the pianos. There was no part on his piano that wasn't blingy. He was the ultimate showman. He didn't like radio, but his thing was, you know, I do the audio visual, I do the little flamboyant things, jump around, hand movements, all this other stuff. You had to see him on TV or in person to get the full Liberace effect. Radio just didn't do him justice. And I mean, you also gotta hand it to him. He was a gay guy. All right. He was a gay guy on television. He had to go through all that, too. Because during that time period, if he did come out, his career would have been completely over. Liberace was a huge celebrity in his day. He was one of the biggest stars in Vegas. And almost 20 years after his death, he's still a major icon here. So to have one of his signature jewelry pieces would be absolutely amazing. The provenance that comes with it suggests that this he wore this every day of his life, and it was his favorite piece. This piece right here? Yeah. Here's a picture of him wearing it. That's really, really cool. And you're selling all this stuff together, the book and all the other provenance, right? Yep. I have a couple of pictures, and I have a certificate of authenticity from the auction house, which I purchased it from. December 3rd, 2011, you bought it. Yeah. And here's just a picture of him in front of the piano. See, he wore some suits. Oh, wow. He'd make Prince jealous. <laughs> It's a cool piece, and this is classic late 70s bling. You know, they'd take it, you know, American gold coin, stick it in there. As many diamonds as you could stop around it. Yeah. So how much you want for it? I'm looking for 25,000. It's one of those things where it's really hard to come up with a number. A little over $3,000 worth of gold, and uh, we had another $3,000 worth of diamonds. I don't see 25 grand here, I just don't. I see 10. You know, I didn't come in here asking for 100,000. I just thought it was totally reasonable asking for 25. How much you get it for an auction? Uh, I didn't want to disclose that. 10 grand, I think it's a fair offer. Yeah, I can't do it. Well, thanks for bringing it in, man. Okay, thank you. I was already picturing that piece in a display case with a big fat price tag. It would have looked amazing in there. But as a business owner, I can't pay double what something's worth. Even if it did belong to an icon like Liberace.